subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From a small plant evolving camouflage just to hide from humans to the imminent collapse of a giant radio telescope to potential volcanism on Mars. We bring to you the top science and technology stories this week globally in this edition of Scientifics. We know that Mars in the past was a very different planet from what it is now. It used to be geologically active. It was teeming with not just oceans millions of years into the past, but also earthquakes and volcanism. Planetary scientists think that the last volcanic eruptions could have occurred on Mars sometime around 2.5 million years ago, after which the planet started to cool drastically. However, new findings indicate that a volcanic eruption could have occurred on the planet just about 53,000 years ago. This recent an eruption is not too long ago and in geological timescales just a blink of an eye ago. And so, the findings imply that there could potentially be the occasional dormant geological activity even today on Mars, which has implications for habitability of the planet. It is likely that the existing Martian rovers would attempt to study more of these kinds of phenomena on the planet today. The plant Fritillaria delavai is a highly popular plant that has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for over 2000 years to treat heart and lung ailments, supposedly. The plant was historically bright green in color and it stood out starkly against the terrain that it grew on, which was rocky and mountainous with a rocky grayish background. However, the plant today seems to have evolved camouflage specifically to hide from humans and blend into the rocky landscape. This ability where the plant blends into its surrounding, making it hard to spot, occurs only in places where humans harvest this plant in really large quantities. In other places where it's not rampantly harvested by humans, the plant continues to retain its bright green color. Through this pandemic, the world has been dealing with the stresses of being isolated physically and often socially without scope for regular daily human contact. Emerging research is now providing us insights into what happens to the human brain and physiology when we are starved of social interaction during such times of isolation. Neuroscientists have now figured out that during this kind of social isolation, our brain fires off craving signals for social contact in the same portion where the brain fires signals when craving for food. Using MRI machine scans, researchers were able to first image the brains of people put in experimental isolation and then shown images of social interaction. The researchers repeated this with participants for hunger by having them first fast and then showing them pictures of food. They found that the same areas of brain for craving lit up in both experiments. The iconic Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico is at a risk of collapse. This giant radio telescope has played a huge role in astronomy, helping us look for exoplanets and asteroids as well as studying fast radio bursts. The telescope is a large 1000 feet dish and above the dish is the 900 ton equipment platform that is suspended by cables from three different towers. Earlier this year, one of the many supporting cables from this platform broke off and crashed into the dish, damaging some panels. Before repair could be completed, this month in November, another crucial cable broke off, sparking concerns of the entire platform collapsing. The cables seem to be corroding, exacerbated by hurricanes this season, and if one more important cable snaps, the risk of collapse would be much higher with no scope of repair. The telescope is now to undergo controlled decommissioning after 60 years of operation in a major blow to the astronomy community.